Hello, sir. I haven't seen you for a while. It's good to have you back. And you need to start having more stuff to say. Well, anyways, welcome back, all your agents, to Detroit Become Human. And where we left off, I started getting a few soldiers and was planning on a revolution. If I remember correctly. So let's just hop right back into it. November 7th. 2038. 1 a.m. Good, we're all neutral. That's all that really matters. Um the weather. seen snow before it's pretty it's slowing us down but at least we won't meet any humans along the way yeah that's a good thing oh it's autonomous I don't like that idea um, destination these people we're going to see how do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured them. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Laco killed them. Alright. Can I talk to the little girl? Little girl, you're awake. I want to communicate. I am bored. And... Car. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Malfunction! This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. All right, inspecting the engine. It's hard to get a good read on what it. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. We'll find something. Find a shelter. Can I climb? I can't climb. I forgot how to climb. I see something over here. Maybe a cave. Really? Fine. Oh, pathway. Can I run? Must find shelter. an amusement park. There might be some old androids here. We need to 
find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Queen, queen. Looks like it's queen, been abandoned for queen, a while. Queen. All right. Shelter. Wait, did we just pass something? Oh, it's a sign. I am here, and I don't think there's any good shelters here. Maybe there. All right, let's continue on our way. I mean, androids could probably survive the cold. Uh, that's a skeleton. Should be a fake skeleton. It's not like they're gonna use real skeletons in an abandoned amusement park, All right? Right. Unless they're android skeletons. Are these people this killing androids fun. and putting them on display? It's not gonna be easy to find shelter. I know it's not going to be easy, but literally everything is a shelter. A barrel is a shelter. Why don't we just put her in a barrel? Like, it seems like the right thing to do. Examine. It's all boarded up and everything. Looks safe inside. Can I break it? Enter. Rip off the board. I know this. Please do one hand. What were you, like a construction android or something? That's why I feel like you were. Here we go. There's a hole. I'm sure you're protected against the wind, but the hole is not going to make it warm. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Oh, we don't get a choice? Interesting. This is this an actual book or... Nope, still a digital book. Um... Okay, some sort of political thing. An all android band. Okay. There's a bunch of other stuff. Hmm, telescope. There are definitely going to be androids here. I can just feel it. Ooh, pirate. Pirate pillow. Hmm. Do you want pirate pillow and blanket? I has pirate pillow and blanket. Here you go, small child. Pirate pillow and blanket. Fine, you don't want it, so I'll throw it in fire. I cannot throw it in fire. I can set up bed though. Here is bed. Here is bed, small child. Alice? Alice must be a little sad. First, I'll check the bag. It's more important. Check gun.
Alright, so we know where our gun is. That's a good option. We may need to eat the small child to survive. Alright, what do you need? You wanna go on the Ferris wheel? I can chuck you on the Ferris wheel if you want. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Optimistic. The border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. She's definitely going to die. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. First, I want to see all other options. Okay, there's something over there. I would like to talk to him before talking her in. Oh, the poster. Oh, why can't I keep it? I want to keep the poster. It's like some of this stuff looted. Hello. Hi. All right, I guess you don't want to talk. How's it going? Um, tomorrow. Get some rest. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. Can you tell me a story, Kara? Hmm. I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Um, night. This is a story about a knight who... No! Not a story like that. Make one up for me. Make one up? This is a story about a little girl. Alone. She lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Shadow. The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then, she met a robot. Who lost. was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. A better life. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... Brave. They were so brave, they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met... Giant. A giant, giant who promised to protect them. How does the story end? Uh, moral. I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yay! Yes, of course. So now we could talk with her.
We'll definitely need to find a charging station. Yes. She's very brave. Luther's past. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Snow. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything? Notice what? About Alice. What? No. What do you mean? Um. Kara! Yeah, call the androids. Um. Grab God. Um. Question. You? What do you want? Leave us alone. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. Our name? We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last Spilter. few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I'll follow. I don't think you have any choice. What do the same androids want? Because that's what I think they are. They're probably all like the same model, so they chose the same name. This? Be our guest. Reactivate the carousel? Alright. Switch never killed anyone. Little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Well, I'm glad I gave them a little bit of purpose back in their android lives. What? Oh. Lift! You get seahorse. Oh, there's a little boat. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Yeah. Well, that was happy. Could that went in a different direction? Uh, it doesn't look like that. It looks like all of them led to the same situation. Jerry's. Yeah, I'm glad I gave them, uh, 
Hey, 0% of people threaten the androids. That's nice. I'm glad I gave them a little bit of purpose back in their lives. Seems nice. November 7th, 2038. Hank. I must get out. Hank! Hank! Help! I can't get past fence! Oh. I just walk around fence. Never mind, Hank. So, looking at the Detroit Bridge, it seems. Nice view, huh? Yeah. I used to come here a lot before. For what? Before? Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Hmm. Personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Um... Suicide. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Not really. Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there Maybe it's a virus called RA9. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. I feel like it's an error Something code. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Yeah, I sort of, uh, two girls. drained your wallet. They just wanted to be together. Oh, that. Okay. They really seemed... in love. Ironic. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? Um. Told. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. Oh. You shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Truth. No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Yep, that is a virus. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Logical. You do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation. And have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? I'll die. Nothing. Oblivion? Android heaven? <laughs> Thanks, anger. Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? 
Not really. Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you are not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Oh, new path unlocked. Where are you going? That's cool. You get drunker. I need to think. Hmm. Hank left Connor alone. Let me guess, the other option was Hank shoots Connor in the face. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be Hank shoots Connor in the face. How many gods are in the face? Huh. Only, uh, like 28 or 27, I mean. 17? Not much. I thought it would be a little bit more that gets shot in the face. Nine twenty-four a.m. Back with you. Oh yeah, I talked to a model here about R nine. More dying androids. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's They're the not gonna way. agree. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Hmm. <laughs> Did show up in a suit? He is confused. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. All right, time to leave. Dang it, I tried. Um, ask, request that receptionist. All right, hello receptionist. Are you a fellow android? I can agree with fellow androids. Hello, hello fellow sir. android. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract the human advisor. Analyze. Smartwatch, model T2, that's probably nothing. Can I see who you are? No. Oh, Elizabeth Wilson, desk manager. Water service interruption. Her ID. And a family photo. I'll ask about her family. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Um, uh, school. Yeah, this is gonna be a little awkward when she arrives. 
Hello. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Give ID. Smack her in face. I need your help. Downloading virus. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. That's a really cool ability this guy has. All right, pass security. Um, doesn't look like there's anything else in this room, so let's go kill some people. I'll call a new elevator. Um, trying to enter. Hmm. Good, he's using his phone. Um, that's the cafeteria. Find package in men's bathroom. Cafeteria is that way. That's a server room. Meeting room, maintenance, bathroom. Is that what that sign says? Yeah, bathroom. Where would the bathrooms exactly be? Probably not that direction. So I'd say this direction. Can I poke you? Men's bathroom, where is it? There's bathroom, this direction. Hello, Roomba! It is giant Roomba. Occupied, 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 all right. Climb. And retreat. There's the package. And exit. Ooh. Okay. This might be the most risky part. All right, I just gotta remember, do not kill any humans in here. Find utility android. One of them passed me this direction. So my best bet is to go this direction. There he is. Hello, utility android. I need your help. Thank you. I must steal the maintenance cart. I take the maintenance cart. All right, guys, my first day on the job, let's go. Hello, sir. Uh, open fire escape. Was that the fire escape? No, that's the server room. Where's the fire escape? Down there. 
Hello, giant Roomba. Don't mind me. Hmm. Alright, fall north. This thing pilots a lot better than normal walking. This is their life on Mars. Alright. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Attract the guards away from the door. I see something this direction. Hacking. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. <laughs> All right, you won't be long, but everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Lock. Cut the windows. So this is our escape route. Let us open and place. Laser saw and cut. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could make a misshape. Pulp. Here it comes. Grab the bag. Ladies first. best if we don't climb on the windows themselves. But this I go anywhere on. We can I jump. Dang it. There's no one in these windows. Laser saw. And cut open. This seems like an easy cut. Pretty strong glass. You okay? I wouldn't be. Come on, let's get the others. Call the service lift. Is this the service lift? Welcome, you two. Let's Thanks for Alexa.
feel like we're missing something. Oh well. Main access to the corridor. Hmm. Danger. There might be something valuable in here. Usually that's what danger means. It means valuable. Domain access. The old we guards. Kill. We can't take any human lives. Dang it! This is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Um... Fine, let's ruse him. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, bud. Draw gun! What are you doing? Order. We had a gun, so this was our best bet. Now, don't try anything or. Yeah. They tried something. They a little heavy for you guys? Well, I'm already a wanted person, so... Let's go broadcast. Let's ambush. Ring. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. I am here for the resistance. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No. Shoot. No. There was no other choice. He ran! He knew the choice! We haven't got much time. I'd like to hack the other androids, please. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, okay. your face. Remove skin. Tell me when you're ready. Let's go. Ready. Determined. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile. That's not why I meant ready oh, okay. to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed. And we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Um End of slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Recognition. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. And we demand justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. Right of property. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Turn. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. 
We are alive, and we demand our freedom. We're not asking. Let's get out of here. I hope everyone liked that. I worked really hard on that speech. A good two seconds. There's our new record. I wonder if they're gonna do anything about the dead body. They're still probably gonna go after us and not even do peaceful stuff. But I'm pretty sure the dead body didn't really help. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe yes, I did. Run! Run! Oh, I, I didn't have a button cue. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place they just ran from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual? Is this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Well, either way, I got the point across. Uh, how many people chose to shoot the guy? Uh, 28% escaped like that. 99% of people jumped. So there was a 1% chance of not even making it out? Let's see if killing that person affected anything too much. I guess it didn't. Hmm. Besides the main goal. Just wonder if killing that, not killing that person led to anything harmful. Hmm. Well, anyways, like, subscribe, all that stuff. This is Agent Owen, signing off.